Look what just showed up. A whole lot of steel. There are about 120 hammer billets in here, ranging over four different sizes. Great. Since we're about to start handling today, all the grinding equipment and stuff like that, we're about to move that out here, so we have wonderful fresh air, and, uh, and this is gonna be a great day of hard work. now is what I use my handles are these hickory handles uh, that I have custom made so a company rips them down from the board and puts them on a lathe and gets the blank pretty damn close. The reason I do this is otherwise what I've usually done is I've born, bought my own boards of ash and cut the boards of ash myself and worked it and that takes a little bit of time and though these are expensive I think the time Having the time is a little bit uh, more valuable to me than the expense of these handles. The other thing is that these are hickory, which is superior to ash for a hammer handle. So the nice thing about buying these means I get to have hickory as opposed to the ash. And wherever I can with a hammer handle, if I can use hickory, I want to use the hickory. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just going through the bags of handles and making sure that I pick the best ones to go in the hammers. I'm putting them in the uh, in the holes, ready to then begin the next little bit of shaping uh, one at a time. And now, I'm gonna come over to the bandsaw and I'm gonna begin trimming them down to make sure that they're the right size. So we'll do that. So I'm over here at the belt grinder, and I'm making wedges. So what I do is, on the bandsaw, I cut out of boards, like this. I cut out these wedges. Now, sometimes they don't quite go right, like this one, so I've got to throw it away. But the ones that, that are good, I then go to the belt grinder, and I refine them right here. And this is where it all went wrong. For the rest of the entire day, I forgot to turn on my microphone. Anyway, I'll let you know what happened. I was basically letting you know that we'd run out of wooden wedges, and so I went and made some more. Grinding on the grinder, tried my best to avoid grinding my fingertips as best as possible. At this stage, we'd already handled probably three quarters to, uh, to four fifths of all of the hammers that we needed to do, and so then it was just onto finishing them up and giving them a really great oiling. This was a huge amount of fun to do, and I really, really do need to extend my sincere appreciation for all of you that bought these hammers. They are... That is a wonderful amount of support in what I do in my business, and I'm thrilled to be able to provide you the value and the service of having one of my hammers. That makes me really, really happy. That's what I was saying while I talk right now. And I also want to take the opportunity right now to let you know that the live show is going to be on Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 2 p.m. Pacific, 
and 10 p.m. if you're here in the United Kingdom, as I've got to hit the airport early that day, and I'm not going to be able to do a live show on Saturday. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow for the live show, since it's going to be Thursday. And, um, and then I'll see you every other day, because that's what I try my best to do. You have a great one. Bye.